Greetings, golf addicts, and welcome to another edition of the Fantasy Golf Sommelier for the PGA Championship. I'm excited to get to the picks, okay? Now listen, I know what you're thinking. You haven't seen me in a while. You've missed me. You've missed the FGS. It's been since the Masters, okay? Well, listen, sometimes I just don't feel like doing this, but tonight I do. This week I do. I'm very excited, and you want an excited FGS. That's what you want because you're going to get the energy. You're going to get the good picks, all right? You're going to get some wine knowledge. Speaking of wine knowledge, drinking Cabernet tonight, all right? I've really been drinking Cab a lot. But let's get into the picks first, all right? Because I got a lot of good picks tonight, all right? A lot of good ones. And there's going to be a little bit of the theme you're going to hear, okay? And part of it is really going to be the fact that I think you can kind of buck the narrative of all the bombers this week. All right, I know that may sound crazy, and I'm not saying don't play bombers because we know they always have an advantage, but I'm going to give you a few guys that I think might uh, might be some sneaky plays, all relatively low owned. All right, so we're going to start with the $10 wine special, and that is going to be Denny McCarthy. He is 7,400 on DraftKings. He's 90 to 1 as an outright winner. And you know what? Denny's a guy that I'm just not hearing a whole lot about. But I'm going to give you a few reasons. One, he is great around the greens. He's always been great around the greens. It's very consistent for him. He's also a very consistent and good putter on pretty much any surface. All right? We want that. All right? We want good scramblers. We want good putters, especially in major events. All right? Major venues that can be tough and test almost any part of your game. All right? He's also very accurate off the tee. And here's the, here's the thing, okay? We've heard a few things as the week has gone on that these fairways are a little bit drier. You know, the ball's running out a good bit. So everybody's talking about the rough. Everybody's talking about length. But here's what happens when you get fairways like this that are, you know, you're getting some run out and things like that. The guys like Danny McCarthy, who aren't necessarily that long, are going to get a little more distance. They're going to have a little bit shorter irons into these greens, which helps, and it's going to kind of bring them just a little bit closer to the field as far as those guys that are the bombers. We know the bombers always are going to have an advantage, okay? I mean, I can't say – I mean, everybody says that. We know that, okay? It, it, it's, it's, a th it's, it's not like I'm giving you some sort of revolutionary knowledge there, all right? But here's the thing. I like to look at the other direction. Like, what are some things that can bring these guys like a Denny McCarthy up to the field? Like, give them, like, a little bit more le level playing field. And I think that's a huge thing for Denny McCarthy. So I like that. A few other things about Denny, all right? Denny has made 14 of 17 cuts this year. You like that out of a guy that you're paying 7400 for, okay? He's a solid cut maker. Here's another thing. Let's look at his last couple of events. Top 25 at the RBC Heritage. T8 at Wells Fargo, which is a very difficult venue also, okay? He's got five top 20 finishes this year, all right? That's a little better than average, okay? That's a little better than a guy that's at 90-1 to 1 to win and 7,400 on DraftKings. So Denny McCarthy, for me, is going to be the $10 wine special. All right. We're going to move straight on to the Boone's Farm fade of the week. And for me, that's Xander Schauffele. All right, here's the thing. I like Xander. I think, you know what, let me take a little sip of my cab here. Uh, before I talk about Xander, because I like Xander. I think Xander's a good dude. I think he's a fantastic golfer. He's one of the best golfers in the world. And I'm actually not going to tell you to fade him in DFS. I think there could be some reasons that you do so, all right? But I, I don't think, you know, if you want to play Xander in DFS, that's fine. If you want to bet him, that's fine. I don't think he wins. But if you want to bet him, that's on you. But here's where I think you might want to play him, all right? Xander Schauffele on underdog, all right? So we're looking at, we're looking at underdog. He is set at 69 on the over and under on a first round on Thursday, all right? Now, that's actually right behind John Rahm and Scotty Scheffler. 
John Rom and Scotty Scheffler, who are at 68 and a half. That's where their number is set. Okay. Xander is at 69. I don't like that at all. I would rather take the over on Xander. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically fading Xander in round one to not shoot 69 or better. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to be over that number. Or maybe he put you get the push there. But I, I don't, I'm not even going to cheat like that. I, I think it's going to be over 69, and that's what we're going to go with. So that's how I'm going to fade Xander Schauffele is in underdog with your plays there, okay? All right, now listen, we're going to get to the pop the court play of the week, all right? But first, I got to give you that fun fact I told you about Cabernet. Here's a fun fact. I didn't even know this. One of the most widely noted aromas and flavors of a Cabernet Sauvignon is a green bell pepper. A green bell pepper. Okay, I got, I have a garden. I got several green bell peppers. I don't know if I could say that I taste that when I'm tasting this Cabernet right now, but apparently that's the most widely known and noted Aroma and flavor. So if you're if you're having if you're having some wine with friends at dinner, you know, tell them about the green pepper. Tell them that's what you're tasting. And if they say no, I don't taste that at all, you say you're wrong because it's widely known that the green bell pepper is right there in the cabernet. All right, so there you go. All right. Um, Hey, you know what? I would actually like to know. You comment on this video and tell me, like, what is, like, what's a, what's the most unusual thing you've ever tasted in a wine? Okay, you know, like if you're if you're if you're like really into wine, like if you tasted um, a date, did you taste a date in the wine? You know, or a, or beet, you know, something like that, something with sprouts on it. You know, I I don't know. Did what 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 was the weirdest taste? You were like, hmm. I'm tasting a little uh, Brussels sprouts here in this wine. I, I don't know. I, I would like to know because um, it just came to mind. Anyway, let's talk about the Pop the Court play of the week. This is my play that I don't think anybody's talking about. I wasn't talking about him. Nobody's talking about him. And I think he's going to be a good play this week, and that is Corey Connors. He's at 7,900 on DraftKings. He's 100-1 to one as an outright winner. 100-1. to one. This is a guy that does have win equity, that just won almost a month ago. And he really hasn't played that bad since then. He missed the cut at the Masters. I get it, okay? But then he was T31 at the RBC Heritage. He was top 10 at the Wells Fargo just a couple weeks ago, all right? So it's not like he's just fallen off of planet Earth and can't win this golf tournament. And we've seen that happen with the PGA Championship. We've seen guys that are longer shots that are just great players that aren't really expected to win a major. And then all of a sudden, boom, they win. And Corey Connors, I think is, is somebody that really fits that bill. You look at his ball striking. He's top 20, top 20 in the field in ball striking. He's top 20 in approach. He's accurate off the tee. All right. It looks like the ownership is probably going to be somewhere around like five to 6% on Corey Connors. All right. I like that. And I like that when you're looking at like building lineups for a GPP and majors, taking a guy that like not a lot of people are talking about, that's going to have lower ownership, take that risk. Okay. Just because he missed the cut at the Masters doesn't mean it's going to be the same here. It's a totally different golf course. All right. Totally different golf course, totally different skill set that needs to be that you need to have to win here. And I get it. I get the putting for him. I get probably a little bit with the scrambling, but the, the the fact of the matter is he's still a great ball striker, one of the best in this field, and he can have a good week, and he can win this golf tournament. So I'm going to go with Corey Connors as the pop the cork play of the week. All right, that's it. That's all I got for the Fantasy Golf Somali for the PGA Championship. I'm going to try to be back for uh, whatever the next tournament is I'm going to try to be back for. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the fire. I'm gonna bring the heat. 
We're going to talk about wine, talk about the plays, and it's going to be fantastic. But this week, I hope you have green screens. I hope everything for you. I hope you enjoy some good wine with friends. And you know what? Let's win that cash. That's all I got.